Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for November, the first half of November. This is your financial reading for the first half of November uh, 2018. Uh, this month, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, just uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you can catch me live. Uh, but let's see what we have going on for you Capricorn in regards to finances, some sort of financial recovery, which I like to see. Uh, your current situation, you have the uh, yeah, you have the uh, eight of spades and the four of spades. Both of these cards represent recovery. Now, this card is called the garden sometimes, and it just represents um, you know like getting to a place where you can uh, take a break, getting to a place where you can finally um, you know again not have to like worry about finances so much, or uh, where you're not like constantly stressed out about finances. Four of spades just simply the card of recovery. So I feel like if you're not already there, uh, you are entering into a period of recovery in regards to your finances. Um, what I will say is that uh, eight of spades is a card of needing to keep the momentum going needing yeah needing to keep trying new things so i feel like if you have a business or if you're at work this card says you know don't get too lazy it's okay to take like a little bit of a break but also you know make sure to keep that momentum going i would say especially if you're like in marketing or something like that that's what's like popping into my head or if you market for your business this card says it might be okay to take a little bit of a break but again if you're like marketing and you take like a long break then you kind of lose all that marketing momentum so this card says like keep that going uh, you know don't allow that to stop but still uh, for the rest of you that don't have a business again really good card for just like feeling like you're getting a financial uh, you know kind of like a financial break at this time. Uh, next, you have the uh, six of hearts here with the eight of hearts. I like that. So um, I feel like there will be a ton of new opportunities. This is coming up in your um, position here of will there be more money coming in for you? And I do feel like, yeah, I feel like there's definitely an opportunity for you to make more money at this time. I feel like there will be new opportunities, uh, changes with your finances. This is a card of needing to create your fantasies on earth, as I always say. It's a card of manifestation. Six of Hearts is a card of turnarounds. It's also like a card of like things lifting. Like, um, you know, again, if you've like tried to start a business in the past and it didn't work out, some of you might be returning to like an old business or an old business idea and it will work out better, uh, this time or it should work out better this time. You have better ideas, better thoughts, whatever. Some of you might be like in school or something or maybe you're like thinking about taking a test. Uh, this could, it, maybe you failed it last time again there could be kind of a turnaround in events where you do pass it this time or um you know again you maybe you've, you've tried for like a certification you didn't get it and now you do now this is also the card of promotions and recognition so i do feel like a lot of you could be getting promotions or recognition at work which would be really nice for you as well uh next you have the uh three of hearts here and uh, let's see what else the queen of hearts birth of something new so three of hearts is my card of newness my card of new opportunities i mean it's just my card of moving in the right direction queen of hearts is a card of newness card of new opportunities it's like the card of birth it's a card of the mother so in a lot of ways i feel like some of you could be like taking care of something like it's a baby so again that could be a business that could be almost anything and i do feel like that would be good for you for others of you again this would just simply represent like a new job coming in. Uh, it is also a card of protecting your ideas. So again, if you have any business ideas or thoughts about business, I would say it would be a good time. You know, you don't have to be paranoid, but I would say that with that Queen of Hearts there, it would probably be a good time for you to be protective of your money-making ideas, your business ideas, because again, Queen of Hearts is just like ne representing needing to take care of a baby. So it's like you would be protective of a baby. So treat any, you know, business ideas you have like a baby. I do feel like there is a danger. Yeah, I feel like there, the danger for you is that like if you share your business ideas somebody might you know kind of hate on it and then you don't want to do it and it stops you from doing it so or you know somebody might tell you it's a bad idea i always tell people you know with this card especially it's like if people if somebody tells me something about business but they've never had a business in their life i'm like why would i listen to them you know if they've never done anything that i've done you know again people love to share their ideas especially about things that they've never done or never tried again do not listen to those people uh, next you have the uh, six of spades here with the seven of hearts so i do feel like there will be improvements for you at this time in regards to finances again i would say be careful of surprises with the six of spades not a bad card but um, definitely a card of being careful i also get like the 80 20 rule on this card. I get that a lot for you, Capricorn, mostly because of Saturn and Capricorn. Saturn and Capricorn wants you to be very efficient. It says like it wants you to focus on the 80, you know, the 20% that gives you 80% of your results, whether it's in business or work or whatever. And 
everything else and wants you to give it to somebody else. Seven of hearts here. You know, this is a card of building a family. So again, maybe you have a business. And maybe it's time to hire new people. Or maybe you have a job, but maybe it's time to give somebody else, you know, other responsibilities at that job. Maybe you need to go to your boss and be like, you know what? Like, I'm doing all this stuff. I, I like, I can't keep be efficient if I'm working on all this other stuff. You need to give that to somebody else, you know? So now is the time to do that. Um, you know, the Joker card comes up a lot. And you don't have it here yet, um, but uh, yeah, you don't have it. But still, what I would say about the Joker is that it represents being above persecution. You know, the Joker in the court jester in the king days, they were the only ones that could make fun of the king and not be killed. So what it, what does it mean today? It means that, you know, maybe, again, you need to tell, tell your boss, hey, I can't do all this. I got to focus on the good stuff. And, you know, maybe you're afraid that your boss will, like, be mad or fire you. And it's But basically, the Joker energy now says, just do it because you'll be perfectly fine. Right, your outcome is the five of clubs and the king of spades. I feel like this is you. Uh, this does, This represents air signs, but I feel like this is your energy right now. I feel like you have a certain level of mastery over something, especially if you're in business, and a certain amount of wisdom that is going to kind of guide you through this month. And I feel like this wisdom is going to make you more successful. I feel like it's about difficulties. I feel like you have been through a lot of difficulties and challenges, and now it's like saying you are a master now. Now it's time for you to take action. Uh, in business, again, this could represent justice and work. So if there's been any negative uh, work situations or challenges, this could represent a turnaround there. And finally, we have the five clubs. This is a card of the millionaire. It doesn't mean you will be a millionaire, but it does mean that there could be an increase in your finances. Or again, if you have a business idea, it will be an adventure. This is a card of adventure and going on adventures. And it does say those things will probably be an adventure, uh, but could lead to you know great rewards. So definitely take those adventures, uh, try those new things. But I would say it looks like an amazing month for you, uh, especially if you have a business. I would say like keep that marketing going, keep you know putting yourself out there, doing stuff, um, keep networking as well. Comes up here. I'd say any of you who are networking, by the way, uh, any of you who do network, and if you don't, you need to uh, with this card and also this card. This is a card of socializing. So you know, building a network could be very profitable for you as well. I'm also getting the word middleman. I don't know why that's popping into my head, but if any of you work like as a middleman or if you're like in between transactions or uh, anything like that, it looks really, really good to me. Um, I don't know why I feel like saying that. Maybe because of this card here, uh, contracts, dealing with contracts, negotiating. So again, any of you who are a middleman, uh, it looks good. So thank you for ordering a reading. and uh, Not ordering a reading. Thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your month.